Hello everybody, I'm Martin, and today I'm going to be showing you the basic functions of the Yaling T3 series IP phone. In front of me I have a T31 IP phone from Yaling, and I'm going to be going over the basic functions. So on the front you'll have your keypad, your handset, navigational arrows, soft keys, line keys which are programmable your mute button, one touch of voicemail connection, your blind transfer or attended transfer button, headset button, redial, speakerphone, and ringer volume or call volume. Okay, so on the home screen, in the top left hand corner you'll see your extension number and your name or extension name. Currently I have this uh, phone registered on 3CX and we're going to be doing demonstrations with it. You will also see your time, um, the date, the two line key statuses, and your soft keys. So to view the history of dialed calls, you just hit history and then you'll see all your calls and you can read all of them from here. You can also use the redial button to redial the last caller. This button will say 36 phone book. Click that and then press 1. And then you'll be able to view the company directory or every extension in your PBX. DND stands for do not disturb. When pressing that, the DND icon will appear and all incoming calls will be rejected and forwarded to voicemail. The menu key will go over to the main menu where you can select from status, features, settings, and other menus. Now we're going to go over how you can answer a call. So let's simulate a call right now. I'll be calling the extension. When a caller is calling you, an audible ringer will be heard, the power LED light will be flashing, and the incoming line key will be flashing. You have four actions, answered, forward, silence, and reject. To answer, simply press answer. Oh, it went out, but to answer, let me just cancel this. In order to answer, you can pick up the handset, press the answer soft key, and press or press the speaker soft key or you can also press the line key. So let's call myself again. You can also forward to another forward the call to another extension, silence the call, and then reject. We're gonna answer. Okay, I'm gonna mute this. All right. So when you're in a call, four new soft keys will pop up. You'll have transfer, hold, conference, and end call. You'll, you may also have a speed parking or shared parking slot. This can be programmed by your system administrator. Let's go out over how you can put a call on hold. To do that, you'll simply just press the hold soft key. The line key will flash and the hold symbol will appear. When a call is in hold, you can transfer it, resume, or start a new call and keep the previous caller on hold. These Yaling IP phones can support up to multiple calls, so that would be great if you're in a call center. Now, to resume the call, simply press the resume key. Now, let's go over how to transfer a call. On the two line keys, your system administrator may program a BLF or speed dial. Let's say I want to transfer the call to a coworker. However, I don't have their extension. I could simply transfer them to speed or shared parking 
by clicking on the shared parking button. The caller will hear hold music and you'll see that the shared parking um, LED will be red. After that, our coworker can simply press SP1 on their phone and retrieve the call. If you want to transfer to a call to another extension using blind transfer, which means you're going to transfer the caller immediately unannounced, press the transfer soft key or the transfer button, and then dial the extension. And you'll see it say B trans, which means blind transfer. For an attendant transfer, which means you're going to call the person you want to transfer the call to first and notify them that, hey, are you sure you want to take this call? They agree. So let me just do a demonstration. Um, you'll press call instead. Please enter personal identification number. Now, of course, number, this is just voicemail. Pound. However, I can say, hey, Jim, can you take this call for me? If you say yes, you'll simply press transfer. If they say no, then you can simply just press and call and resume the call. To do a conference call, simply press conference. It's going to say conference with. Now you want to dial the extension of the person you want to conference in. Press call. Please enter Once personal agree, identification press number. Then and now press pound. you're in a conference. You can press manage and then you'll see every person currently connected to the conference. You can either mute, remotely mute them, remove, Invalid and hold pin them. Number. I'm going to remove Please voicemail. Enter personal ID now they are removed and we are now on a single call again. To end call, simply you could, if you're using the handset, hang up. Or you could use the end call soft key. If you're on speaker, simply press the line key or speaker phone button. And the call will be ended. Now let's learn about how you can place a call. There, again, there are multiple ways to place a call. The first way, you could pick up the extension, dial the person you want to call, and then pressing the call soft key. Another way you could do it is type in the extension you want to call, then pressing the soft key. You know, default to speakerphone. Same thing with speakerphone, extension, soft key, and line key, extension, soft key. Please note, if you have multiple lines assigned to your Yealink phone, it's preferable if you would choose the line key you want to um, place a call on. Let's do a demonstration of placing a call. So I'm going to be calling demonstration, demonstration 322. And in some cases, you can press pound to send the call instead of using the soft key. And there you go, you're now on a call. Let's go over how you can forward calls. Let's say you're going to be out of the office and you would like to forward your calls to a coworker. Simply press the menu soft key. You want to press two for features or use the navigational arrows. Click on call forward and then click on always forward. Now use the left and right arrow keys to toggle off to on. Go. You can also use the switch button. Okay. Now we're going to type in the extension we want to forward it to. Let's say 322. Two. And everything else can be left blank. Once you're done, press save. It's going to save and always forward should be on. That means if someone calls your extension 310, it should be forwarded to extension 322 now. We can now switch this to off and remove that extension. Oh. Uh, I'll just put this that. If you're busy, such as um, or no answer forward, you can switch to on, type in the extension, and then after 12 seconds of ringing, it would transfer. For busy forward, if you're already on a call, you can also make a transfer to your ex preferred extension. Let's click back. 
We'll also uh, show you auto answer. Let's say you have this phone in the classroom and if a uh, front office calls you, you want, you can, instead of getting up from your desk, you just want to speak to them via um, speakerphone. So click on auto answer, scroll down. Oh yeah, choose your line key. You have to choose which line you want. I only have one, so it's, that's going to be the only one I can choose. And now status enable. Now save. Now please note, now when someone calls us, um, a, a short two-tone pulse should be sounded. It won't be loud though, so make sure you know that. Oh look, main turn. Switch that. Okay. And also, as you can see, the AA symbol is now active, so that means auto answer. So let's demonstrate calling our extension. As you can see, the phone has automatically answered and the microphone is unmuted. So please note that if someone calls you, your microphone will automatically unmute. So keep that in mind. Finally, Let's go over ringtones. To set your ringtone, go to settings, basic settings, scroll down to sound, select ringtones, and you'll see, you should see two um, um, choices. Common and your first line key. If you have multiple line keys, those other line key lines will show up. I only have one line registered to this phone, so only... However, if I want a different ringtone for each line, I could choose. However, common will do all of them. Let's listen. So that's ring one. That's ring two, which I have selected. And the rest are just melodies, except the last, the last two. That, so this was ring three. And this is ring four. This is silent, and that's just splash as a ringtone. Okay, and if you want to use the common ringtone, make sure common is selected for that line key. Okay, go back, and now you should ma be mastered about how you can use your Yaling T3 series IP phone. If you have any questions on operating this IP office phone, do not hesitate and ask me in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.